Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and today we're going to be having a look at the raw function on strings within JavaScript. Now, what is the raw function? Well, it is a tag function to be used with template literals and basically it allows you to escape things a lot easier while also supporting uh, substitution with the dollar signs and the curly brackets and so on. So I'm going to be showing you how it works very shortly, but I do want to briefly mention that uh, these tags are one of the most, I think, underused JavaScript features. I mean, even VS Code or some of the themes in VS Code will take advantage of this syntax. For example, I've seen extensions where, uh, you know, you can have an HTML tag before a JavaScript string to allow HTML syntax highlighting. So they are used for things like that, but they actually do have functional benefits within your code. And of course, the string.raw function is one of them. And I might be doing a separate video to cover those functions, but today just focusing on string.raw. So like I said earlier, it is used to help you um, escape uh, things like backslashes. So let's have a look at how this works. So firstly, I want to give an example using a Windows path. And as we know, Windows paths use a backslash uh, for um, you know separation of folders and drives and so on. So Let's make a new constant called uh, Windows System 32 Path equal to, and then do um, what you might expect. Um, you know, so we we say C, then Windows, then we say System 32, and we can see here that, of course, using the standard double quotes. Um, you know, even VS Code is telling us that this W and this S are going to be escaped um, as part of this string. So if I was to console.log the Windows system 32 path right here, I'll save this and then go back in or go inside uh, the terminal here. I'll run this script and we can see here we get uh, C, then we get colon, then we get uh, Windows System 32. So we can see here that these backslashes are being ignored in the output and they're instead escaping the character right next to it. Now, the way to get around this traditionally would of course be to put a double backslash. Um, I'll try again and of course we get around that problem as we can see right there. And this is common in many languages and not just JavaScript. However, we can solve this and make it a lot easier for us if we use this uh, string.raw function. Now, before showing you that, I want to quickly change these double quotes to the tag uh, template literals, my mistake. Um, that's using the backslashes near the one on your keyboard. And even with these, um, it is still going to escape the W and the S. So that brings us now to, of course, string.raw. If I say string.raw just like this before um, the backslash here, and again, this is a bit of a, a bit of a strange syntax, not very common to see. But if I was to run this now, we can see that we get those backslashes be maintained. So this works very similar to Python's R and then apostrophe syntax, which you may have seen before if you've worked with Python. Now, one last thing to mention in terms of the functionality of string.raw, um, it is still a template literal being used right here. So you can do substitutions. For example, I can say hello and then say something like three plus five to say hello and then eight. And I'll run this script and of course we get hello eight. Now, what are the use cases for string.raw? Well, I think it's definitely going to be useful for you if you have a script that works a lot with paths, uh, especially on Windows, as well as any, uh, look, any any scripts that, that you, you often find yourself having to escape characters in, of course. Um, that's going to be the main benefit of this. Um, you're not going to use it very often, I don't think, but look, it's still good to know, and there you go. So that is the string.raw function in JavaScript. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and you learned something. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.